everyone, Liliana from Vanilla and Canela here. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So, as most of you know, I moved in August and as I unpacked, I tried my best to organise as I went along using some of the organising methods that I used in my previous house, etc. But there is a few areas in my house that are not great. They're not how I want them to be. So today is the day that I'm going to tackle them. Christmas is coming. Everyone's going to have guests over. Well, not everyone, but I'm having guests over. So I want to make sure that I'm ready and that everything behind the scenes is organized so everything goes smoothly. I am standing at the top of my stairs and this is my airing cupboard. Let me show you. So let me just show you. This is my airing cupboard and I've also got that bit there. Let me, oh, oh dear. Uh, as you can see, it's not best <sighs> organized. I mean, stuff is folded somewhat, not so much there, but it's quite a deep cupboard. I'm sorry that the lighting is no good. Let me try. Does that help? Yeah. Makes it a little bit yellow, but anyway, you guys can see. So it's quite deep and I've got stuff behind it. This is where our boiler is and stuff that I've dumped there as well. And then on this side, here's a bag of stuff that I need to sell of Alex's toys. Toilet paper just shoved in and I've got this unit and there's stuff behind you can't really see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get everything out. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna set you here in my bedroom, which is directly across from the cupboard. It's not an awesome view, but because it's the top of the stairs, I don't get anywhere where I can put the tripod. So I'm just gonna get started. Okay, empty. It took about five minutes to get everything out. That's gonna stay there. So you can see it's not like a completely clean space. It's got plumbing and stuff. You have gotta be a bit careful because it is quite warm in here. So yes, and here's the chaos. All my mats, all my bedding, toilet roll and towels.
So I quickly made some labels to go on the linen baskets, which have all my bedding. And I've just put some sellotape on top just to reinforce it because obviously this is like paper. And there you go, so it should be easy to see. Okay, so this pile here, I am going to donate, Not maybe not the bedding, the bedding will probably go in the bin. This bedding was from Alex's bedroom, but it's actually ripped, and this is very well worn, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And these are mats and towels that I no longer want, but they're still in good condition, so I'm going to donate them to an animal rescue centre. They often ask for used towels and mats. They're awesome for their for the pets. This I'm going to use downstairs. And that duvet, I'm going to transform it into something else. I'm going to list those toys. And the bed. Now this is going to go in the bathroom. I have two baskets with... Um, face cloths so I'm going to add these to them let me show you okay so in the bathroom right here I keep two baskets one has Alex's face cloths and the other one has mine so just keep them there there we go okay and here is the final result So right at the top I've put the mats that I want to keep, then here is the bedding, as you can see I made the labels, there's an empty bag here which is for the bedding I have on my bed right now and I'll probably need another, be another bag for the extra bedding I buy for Alex's bed when I do get it and then right at the back there the spare bedding and also my white duvet cover which at the moment I don't use very often because you know that I've just recently done my room and I have other duvet covers and then here are the towels now I got rid of a couple of sets and I I intend to get rid of all of them once I get a dryer and I can keep my towels nice and fluffy I'll be replacing all of them but for now this is what I have and then right at the back let me show you so behind the hand towels I have spare bathroom mats and then right at the back I have some beach towels by the boiler here I just keep um, our step stool so if we need it it's there handy but all of this is clear and then to the side behind this there's my fan and there's also a little small heater and that's it. And then here I have my sewing kit and in here I have my debobbler and other bits and bobs like that. And then the difference here is this has the toilet paper, this has all bathroom accessories and right at the bottom I have first aid stuff. I also gave this area a good wipe down. This is where all my plants are going to come during the Christmas period where I have other stuff downstairs. But yeah, it's looking okay. This one is already not looking great. I've just added some water there. Let it sip it a bit, but we'll see. <laughs> 